Greetings all, it is I, Deadly Samuel, and welcome back to more Let's Translate, Trails of Beginning. So last time we made it to the medical college of St. Ursula. And now we're going to look around and see if there's anyone we know who's evacuated here. I'm hoping for either Tia or Randy, but I mean it has to be one of them. Since we got Ellie last time, it would make sense for either Tia or Randy to be here. My guess would be Tia. So I'm very hopeful for that. But I guess we shall see. What's going on over here? Ooh. A gathering. What could this mean? Yay, it's Dio! Uh, well done, you guys. Uh, I've got you some refreshments. Uh, you can eat it if you want. <laughs> Is this okay? <laughs> Thank you. Now, that was the first time I've ever dealt with uh, issues with uh, damn uh, medical equipment, but... <laughs> but it's good that you managed to do it well. Good work, you two. I don't know how I should say my thanks to you, because I'm so thankful. <laughs> if you hadn't been there, we uh, would have had to have followed the new ruler. Hmm. Damn, how did it end up like this? I'm sorry. If, if we could have only protected the event then. If we had more power. Tio? Tio. No, it's not like that at all. Yeah, no one's blaming you for any of this. What happened? Ah, look, Lloyd, it's Tio. Ah, oh, thank goodness. So she came, she evacuated out here, did she? It looks like they're talking to the townspeople about something. Hmm, that's... Yeah, it couldn't be helped that you guys lost. Yeah, now that it's happened, I feel like I noticed again that true independence for Crossbell was hopeless from the start. Huh? What are you saying all of a sudden? Is this the curse again? Yep. I mean, we're right, aren't we? If we'd have just followed the Empire like we used to, then the new ruler wouldn't have appeared, right? And the guardian force wouldn't have uh, occupied the city, right? Now that I think about it, the economy was so much better too when we were under the, uh, the Empire's control. So why were we so desperate for our re-independence? Why did we want to be free so bad? Hey, what's get what's gone into your what's gotten into you guys? Yes, why are you being so pessimistic? And it's not just the new ruler and those black guardians. There's giant dolls or robots or whatever appear too. And also that former president is not is cooperating with them too, and the people in the town are being controlled. With this much happening, it's already that's not true. Wait, was that voice? Uh, it was. Okay. We have Lloyd and everyone in Crossbell, and so many others helping us. And it's not just the support section of the police or the garrison. People outside of Crossbell are... Uh, must be help or working to help us even now. This, oh my god, I love Tio's voice. This won't last for long. We'll definitely end it. Tio. Yeah, now that I think about it, we always did used to see hope, but. With the mafia and the cult, and the uh, 
the independent country incidents too. Even when we were occupied by the Empire and that war was going on. But in the end, it all went to... But in the end, it all came to nothing. Just like with the signing ceremony the other day. The truth is, we're just desperately clinging to hope that doesn't actually exist. Every time, every time, every time, every time, every time. Every time, every time, every time, every time, every time. Hope that doesn't exist? But still, we'll definitely... Stop, I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of everything. Anyway, what right do you have to talk to us about hope? If you hadn't apprehended the former president two years ago, if the independent country had kept going t until today, this wouldn't have... was what I did, was what we did. Oh, honestly, what is everyone going on about? Uh, you guys are... Lloyd, Kia, and Waji too. You are okay. As someone who is related to that incident, allow me to point something out for you. We didn't have a choice when we were uh, apprehending the president two years ago. The president had committed a crime, and following the law, those guys uh, apprehended him and did their job. That's all it was. Huh. What are you saying? Isn't... No matter what you see, you're just avoiding responsibility. Uh, responsibility? What responsibility? Oh my. Do you mean responsibility as a champion of justice? Or perhaps a symbol of independence? Or do you mean responsibility as a hero? Is that what you're trying to say? The special support section has only ever been a small part of the Crossbell Police Department. That's always been the same. How long do you guys plan to continue deluding yourselves into thinking that the special support section is more than that? That's... Well, I guess the fact that they think of you guys like that just goes to show how long the last two years must have felt for them. In the face of the Empire, they couldn't do anything except watch as their pride was trampled on. And before long, they started wishing for a savior to appear for them. I guess we can't really blame them for that. But still, that's not the kind of crossbell that I want to see. I gained irreplaceable things with Lloyd and Vald. 
Before long, I started to love this place even more than my own hometown. And that's why I can say this. Wachi. I think the reason Lloyd and the others chose to do that was to save a single girl. And because of that, Crossbell was swallowed by the Empire. I think that girl probably thought, uh, didn't feel completely irresponsible for that, or unresponsible. Like, if she wasn't there, then this wouldn't have happened. Kia. But still, I think that Lloyd and the others chose that not just for the sake of that girl. It's because they knew how strong Crossbell was after overcoming countless hurdles to get to where it is now. Because if they didn't choose that route, then we wouldn't be Crossbell anymore. It's because they knew that, along with the girl that they saved, everyone in Crossbell would be able to uh, overcome what, what whatever came next. That's what they believed. I see. So I... We... I want to respect them in the uh, the best that I can. And they gave me, who had nothing, so much. And for the sake of those people, Lloyd and everyone in Crossbell, I want to do my best. For you guys too, you must have something you can do. If you're one of the Crossbell people that taught me the true meaning of strength. What we can do? Yeah, I think we might have gotten a bit too pessimistic back there. And until now, there have been so many things like this. But even still, that's why. Yeah, it's because we overcame all those things that Crossbell's the way it is now. Crossbell, our strength. The auras. Uh, special support section and little lady there. I'm sorry, we ended up saying some weird things. You guys have always helped us every step of the way, but still. Yeah, but then we began to take that for granted. I still don't really know yet what we can all do. But now that you guys have started moving, we can't, uh, we can't keep on being pessimistic. Yeah, we have to, uh, we have to find hope within us. Everyone. Well, whatever happened, I'm glad you guys are okay. We'll be supporting you from here on too, so do your best, special support section. What we have to do hasn't changed a bit. We just have to keep moving forward one step at a time. But just doing that won't be enough. But we'll, we'll need all of your powers, each of you, in order to re reclaim what's uh, our precious thing. Uh, please think about this, each of you, what you can do to overcome this trouble. 
And we, the special support section, will do our best to assist you. After that, Lloyd and everyone else parted ways with the townspeople. They asked a nurse that they knew and managed to rent out a place to talk in the nurse's station. Aww. Tio. I'm sorry I was late. I'm, I'm glad you're okay. No, I'm happy for you too. I'm so glad you're okay after what happened back then, after getting those wounds. Thanks for doing your best along with Yona and the others. I'm sorry for making you worry. <laughs> you made me worry, alright? After doing all that. But I always knew that you returned to us. Lloyd, once again, welcome home. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> that was an unexpected fruit of our labor. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so happy for you, Tio. <laughs> ah, stop crying already. The Rhymeford Military Factory to the west. As I thought, you did come here to investigate that. As I thought, so... So you were thinking of investigating it too? Yes, when I was gathering information with Yona and the section chief, uh, we found a lot of suspicious information about that place. And also because we happened to see that person when we were running from the town. Oh. That guy who interfered with the independent nation thing? The sixth anguish of the organization Ouroboros. Professor F. Nobartis, who oversees the 13, um, the 13 workshop network. Uh, so the organization was evolved after all. I did expect that, but He's the guy that's good at making use of a lot of different uh, like technology, right? Yeah, and doing that he uh, created the first or the original ions <clears throat> He's a genius researcher If we assume he's involved then the new model uh like robot guys and that mask uh, definitely starts to make a lot of sense. Looks like we'll definitely have to investigate the Rhineford um, military factory. Yeah, we should get some important information that'll help us, uh, help lead us to the resolution of this case. Also, it looks like Lloyd's holding hands with Waji now. I guess just because of his, the way his hands are always like stretched out like that, it looks like he's holding hands with whoever he's next to. Uh, do you have any idea of like how to infiltrate it? Yes, me and Yuna have both uh, like finished evaluating it together. Before the war, when the uh, factory was being built, they expanded a lot of the underground freight lines. And it seems like there's a route that leads from underground the Ursula uh, University that goes straight there. Really? Ooh, sorry. <clears throat> really? If Tia says it, then, uh, or if Tia, if Tia says so, then we can probably, uh, this probably has a lot of promise. Alright, that was easy. 
All right, let's go then when we finish preparing. We'll find out exactly what's going on behind the scenes of this case. If the organization's involved, then as a church knight, then I can't afford to let this go. Let's find out just what these guys, along with the new ruler, are planning. Yeah, let's uh, do our best. We'll surely find the truth. <laughs> do your best not to get caught on the way there, though. If you did, it would be a waste me uh, helping you like this. Yeah, we'll be careful, okay? Thank you too, Yona, uh, for doing your best with Tio. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything big. Well, at least it's good that she seems to be back to normal now. I think he means she... Uh, I think he must mean Lloyd here, not Tio. Like saying, well, I'm glad you're back on your feet or whatever, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, you're never honest, are you? <laughs> he is Yona after all. Ah, shut up. <laughs> well, I'll leave the military facility or the military uh, factory to you guys. We'll uh, keep on doing our information gathering here, so you guys uh, take care and go off. You can get to the underground lobby from the platform. I mean, you can get to the underground platform from the uh, lobby on the first floor. Mm, thank you. We'll be going then, uh, robot. Robert, uh, Chief Robert, uh, please be safe. Yes, you too, Tia. Oh? His burning heart became burning heart too. Interesting. Burning heart is, uh, his craft, right? What is that? What did that change to? Okay, it does the same, but now it gets rid of any uh, bad statuses that he has and also gives him HP recovery for two turns by 15%. Interesting. Okie dokie then. I think I'm going to end it. Oh, we were back here. I don't think I've ever been back there. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time when we uh, go to this underground platform or whatever.